What is going on, my YouTube friends and family? I hope you all are having a wonderful day today. So Season 3 Reloaded in Modern Warfare 3 just came out a few days ago, and I have a guaranteed method on how to get a Legendary Aether Tool and a Pack 3 Crystal up to three times in one match. But before I jump into any of that, I do want to say that I am enjoying this update. Uh, I think they've added a lot of good things for us to be able to enjoy. Uh, things that honestly should have been there from the very beginning, like the essence um, going towards the cooldowns on our schematics. And with this method, you won't even need to use your essence to even pack a bunch of your weapons any longer. And with all that being said, guys, if you do enjoy the video, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you all are new. Greatly appreciate all the love and the support. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so the first thing I'm going to recommend you do is grab a weapon you feel comfortable with using in the tier 3 zone. For me, it was the Haymaker with Slug Rounds. Uh, go ahead and spawn in with a Pack 2 Crystal, any Ether tool of your choice. I have a few in my inventory just because I don't have any more room in my stash. They honestly need to upgrade that from just 20 to maybe even 30 or 40. Go ahead and throw some perks on there, and I will see you in the match. So now that we're in our match, go ahead and open up your rucksack and equip everything that you've brought in. Uh, you can go and run around and do contracts and get essence and everything pack a punch that way if you don't have a pack crystal. Uh, but most of you will probably already have those schematics unlocked. So go ahead and just you know bring them in to make it a lot easier. And then we're going to venture all the way into tier 3 about right here. So our first location will be located right outside the Opal Palace. You're going to go and shoot these symbols here. Make sure to take out those zombies so they don't down you. Go ahead and shoot that one and this one. Go ahead and then run up here. Gonna hop on this water water tank barrel thingy madoodle, hop over this wall, turn around to form the triangle, and then you're gonna start killing zombies in the circle. And you'll probably recognize that these are the same locations where you'll go to upgrade the new rift items to gold rarity, uh, but instead of the boss spawning, it's just zombies here. So you go ahead and take out all the zombies. And once you've killed the allotted amount of the undead, your reward rift will spawn in. You will get 2,000 essence, a legendary tool, and a pack 3 crystal. Once you've acquired all of your new rewards, go ahead and follow this path here. We're going to the second location. Hop over the rail, jump down to your right to the water barrel right here. Then go ahead and shoot any and all zombies that have followed you and want a taste of your delicious booty. Go ahead and shoot that symbol and the one right over here. Right there. And then up to our right on the roof there. Then immediately turn around and run northeast up into the building at the end of the road. I had this whole horde of zombies behind me, so I ran through this building because I was kind of confused with where this one was located again. Um, but just go ahead and climb up this ladder. And once you go into this building and turn around, it will spawn. And I would also recommend you come to this little corner right here because you can just kill all the, kill all the zombies as they are um trying to get get your delicious booty again and if you need to you can fall off the side there but go ahead and kill all the zombies until your reward rift spawns and once again when that one does spawn in go ahead and click all your rewards 2000 essence the legendary tool and a pack three crystal and again, you do not have to do these in this particular order, but if you are following along with me currently, go ahead and run all the way over here, and you should end up at the Old Town Fountain area, this little park, right about here. Now, for some reason, this particular spot is a little glitchy for me. Uh, the symbols did not spawn in. Uh, it They may be there for you, they, they may not be. Um, uh, you you can wait and see if they do spawn in. Most of them will refresh after a few minutes. Uh, but you're just going to continue on to the right of the tornado or the rift if you've already unlocked that. And then you're going to go ahead and jump across here and run all the way to the end. And once you do, the uh, little orb thing will spawn in. Go ahead and kill all the zombies that you need to. Um, in this particular game, I... 
I had some randoms that wanted me to help them with their quest, so I went ahead and did that for them. And then being that it was 4 a.m., I didn't want to hop into another match to get a footage of that reward rift. Um, but you will have one spawn there, and it will once again be the 2000 Essence, the Legendary Ether Tool, and the Pack 3 Crystal. Now, a couple things I do want to add is that you can go back to these locations. Um, if you have not already unlocked the rift and you're trying to get your items gold, just go back to those spots. You're going to have to move around a little bit to be able to find the little circle that then you can hold and then start the, the little ritual summoning thing. And with the third location, I think somebody did shoot those symbols before I did, um, but I was able to run to that location and the thing did spawn and I was able to kill the zombies and everything. But then those those randoms came and asked if I if I could help them with um, doing doing their particular mission, and so you know I joined them and I did all of that. And with Tombstone being all patched, I think Treyarch needs to leave this in the game. Um, I feel like they did put this here because it does have a separate reward rift and everything. Um, but if for some reason they didn't intend for it to be there, they, they should just leave that because it is, I think, satisfying for those of us that did do Tombstone before. Because, you know, now you can just go there, get a pack 3 crystal and a legendary tool, and then, you know, take those uh, and use them in that particular game that you're in, or you can even just exfil with those and then use them in another game and put them in your stash and all of that stuff. Now everyone is able to do this, but it does have a cooldown of some sort. Um, unlike the you know like the perk challenges found around the map, where is that's like a first come first serve basis, and like only one person gets that, not your whole squad. And so like with this. Everyone in your squad will get the 2000 Essence, the the Pack 3 Crystal, and the Legendary Tool. Oh yeah, and if any of you are confused about how to get an Elder Sigil in the new Rift, it's only by killing the Ganaxi um, boss, and you can, you'll can you find it in your Reward Rift. And that is guaranteed the only way that you can get the Elder Sigil from this new one. Uh, and it's not actually that difficult to, I think I'd rather do it this way because it is a guaranteed Elder Sigil. And before I close out the video, everybody, I do want to know all of your thoughts and feelings on this new update in the comment section below. So please tell me all of that. Are you loving it? Are you enjoying it? Uh, do you not really like it? Are you bummed with zombies? Are you excited for the next one? Just let me know. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all got something useful out of this. Uh, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you all are new. Thank you, everybody. Peace.